Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo, and welcome to my scrapbook table. Today's layout is based on this class by Sarah Davies from Hey Little Magpie. Her class uses the Woodland Grove um, collection from Maggie Holmes. I'm using this gingham garden from American Crafts that kind of has the same feel as the Woodland Grove one. And there's some embellishments there that I'm showing you. Since the class is paid content, I can't show you the sample layout, um, but I strongly suggest you go to Hey Little Magpie's website, which I'll have linked below, and look at her class. This layout um, has some frames in it. I don't have the frames that go with the kit, so I use those dies that you see on the right there. Some are square nested dies from close to my heart. And then there's another one with a heart in the middle. I have no idea where that one came from. So I just cut some um, several layers of cardstock to put behind the patterned paper and made my own frames. I have these photos from, I think they're about 1986. Could be the fall of, or spring of 87. No, I'm pretty sure it's 1986. And I decided like the sample layout to make some shakers. I do not have you watch that because it took a long time and you don't want to watch that. <laughs> but there's my shaker cards. I'm going to use the frames around the two photos and here I'm trimming them down so they'll fit. I am one of the three girls on stage there and we this was a tribute to um, the armed forces and throughout the years and we were assigned to do Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy of Company B and so I have fond memories of working on that together we would go to um one of the girls lived not far from school so we would go to her house after school and practice and um that was a fun time I loved our choir that was one of the highlights of high school for me so I'm trimming the other one down and then it takes me quite a while to decide how I want to put things on here. Um, I am happy with how it turned out. I love the colors. I like that it's mainly a vertical layout. I feel like mine got too wide in some places, but overall I'm very happy with it. And it was a great idea to create these frames. Um, Sarah suggested that if you didn't have um, frames in your collection you were using to, she suggested some ways to make your own. And so I'm really glad I took the time to do that. I'm slowly running out of my glue. I've been making a lot of cards to use for a program at our church and um, I need to replenish my glue because I'm running out. So it takes me a while to decide where to put things. I do end up cutting out some of that footage and you'll see here in a moment what I decided. For this die, I ended up cutting it um, about, not quite in half, kind of close, maybe a third and two thirds. And I put the smaller piece going off the top of the layout and the larger piece going off of the bottom of the layout. Gives you a little more bang for your buck. It did take me quite a while to cut those, um, all, make all those die cuts and layer the cardstock under the patterned paper, but I didn't mind. I just um, put on a chopped and watched that while I did my die cutting and gluing. So now I have things glued down where I want them. I'm using, um, some clear blocks there to help some of them adhere a little flatter than they were. <clears throat> Excuse me. I had to use a second piece of white cardstock because I didn't want to lift them off the one I had them on and not know where they were going to go when I finally decided where to put them. So I just piece by piece transferred them to a new piece of cardstock. Trimming off a little bit of the extra of that one die from both the top and the bottom. And now it's time to decide how I want to embellish it. Or no, I'm going to do the title next. 
and I decided the title was going to be Company B. It would have been ideal if the title would have fit inside that frame, but I knew that wasn't going to happen. So first I thought of using these, but they were a little too black. Um, the, the frames that I have there are a dark gray, and when I went through the alphabets that I had pulled, I have this one from Felicity Jane. I believe they are from the Molly. Yes, they're from the Molly collection chipboard alphabet. And I've had them for about a year, but I haven't used them. I really like them, so I don't know why I haven't used them. But they were just right on here. And even though it goes outside the frame, I still really like how that turned out. So I just titled this Company B from the song. And um, I can still hear that song in my head all these years later from back in high school. And if I remember right, my sister brought my nephews to this concert. And the middle one was about four at the time. And um, he yelled, Aunt Sasa, when I got up on the stage there. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. He still calls me that, even though he's in his 40s and I'm in my 50s. So there we go. Company V. And I really like those shakers on here. But I feel like it's looking very square and I want to add some things that soften those edges a bit. So I'm going to use some rub-ons from 49 and Market. These are from the Indigo or no, Inkwell. Inkwell collection. And there are some grays in there and grayish blues that work really well with this gingham garden paper that I'm using. And so I trim them out. It would have been much better in hindsight to do this before I glued everything down, but I didn't know I was going to use them before right now. So I just make it work. I tuck them in a little bit, rub them on and it turns out okay. I just love what they add to it. They add a little bit of daintiness, um, some curves. I also use two of the vellum embellishment pieces from the Gingham Garden collection because there's a little bit of green in this collection. So I added some green sequins in my shakers. And so I wanted to pull in a little bit of green and I do that with two pieces of vellum and then one little banner. I have two banners on the end um, layout. One says remember in blue, one says fun times in green. I made the fun times one because the green ones, the, the words that were on them just didn't work for this layout. Here you can see me rubbing on the, the rub-ons. One of my favorite things are these 49 and market rub-ons. <clears throat> And I added them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six or seven places. I don't have you watch all of that because it is quite a bit and takes, takes quite a while. So I edited out a lot of this part of the layout. And now I'm doing some journaling. I put Dubois Area High School Spring Concert 1986. And then I started writing above that and I made a mistake. So I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do? So I found a tag, I cut it down to fit and I went ahead and glued that on over my mistake. And I just wrote two other girls and I sang Boogie Woogie Bugle Boy of Company B. And then um, as in Sarah's sample layout, I drew two hand, hand drawn, I didn't use a ruler or anything. Um, two vertical lines along each edge <clears throat> of the layout and then I'm just using my black marker to create some little diagonal um, stripes inside those. They vary in width, they are not perfect but I really like the um, just the borders that they create and again that took me a while I don't have you watch that all. The still shots are coming up soon again be sure to check out 
Sarah's class at Hey Little Magpie, and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.